Hello everyone, welcome back to Pi Discussions. Today we will be discussing about a special variable called Dunderall. We will also see how it behaves both in model level and package level. Let's get in. Before that, we need to understand a concept called wildcard import. Some people also call it as star or asterisk import. Let's look at an example here. Here I have a sample model. In this model, there is a private function which starts with an underscore and we have helper function and we have not implemented function which will raise not implemented error exception if user calls it and we have public function. Now coming back to main.py file where I am importing using wildcard import, I can see what are the objects that I have available in this scope using dir function. The dir function without an argument will print all the objects that I have available in the current scope. In this example, it is a module scope. Let's try to run this program and see what I will get in the output. You can see I have access to the helper function and the not implemented function and the pretty print function and the public function. The pretty print function I have imported it as well. What the wildcard import do in python is it will load or import all the objects excluding the ones that are starting with an underscore. That's why we are not seeing here the private function. To override this default behavior of wildcard import you can use dunder all variable. Let's enable this code snippet and try to run our program again. Now you can see I have only access to the public function in the main function scope. But you can still import the not implemented function using named import. The dunder are variable only applicable when you are using the wildcard import which is not a good practice to use in python but you can still use it if you prefer to use. But one thing you have to remember here is using this one if you use wildcard import inside the function body or a class it will raise an exception here in this case it says that wildcard import not allowed within a class or function so it is not applicable let's look at another example why wildcard import is a bad example in python let's enable these two lines and call read csv function and zeros function which works perfectly fine. The problem with this code snippet is if there is a junior developer of who joined our team after a couple of months, he has no idea where the tree csv function is coming from and zeros function is coming from. The best way to use it just comment these lines import panda as pd input np as np. So you can call these functions using the person who is reading the code now can understand the read csv is coming from pandas library and zero function is coming from numpy's library numpy library sorry so it's often a best practice to use the imports like this so please ignore wildcard imports if possible let's comment this line and let's get into our second example how dunder all variable behaves when we are using inside a package for that i have created a package also this is my sample package you can see inside a package i have sub package 1 and sub package 2 what is a package in python in python a package will have init file a directory has an init file then it will be defined as a package like in this case i have dunder init file so you can call it as a package. So let's get into our example how we can use the dunder on behavior to control our imports in package. Let's first understand the structure of the package before we can understand the dunder on variable. Let's first understand the directory structure of the package before we can go to the dunder all. Here I have a package with the name of package and we have inside that we have sub package 1 and the sub package 2. Inside sub package 1 we have a module and inside sub package 2 we have module 2. Let's look at what those are. In the module 1 I have a module 1 function which will just print module 1 function and I also have the dunder all like the way we look at earlier in the module. In the similar way I have module 2 function module 2 in the module 2 I have module 2 function in the similar way I am having dunder all. And going back to the sub package level, init file, 
I have imported it from the module one from here to here the a ninety file and I am propagating it to the above level using the module one dot and dunder all okay it's just way propagating it to the top level what are the functions that are available to the in the package level and when I go to the INIT package file you can see again pr propagated from the sub package modules to the top level so you can use it like this you can enable it like this from sorry it's a named import from package import star let's comment all the lines so i can see clear output in the dir function all these are not required comment okay this one is also not required just use pass statement and run our program here main.py you can see now i have only access to the module 1 function and the module 2 function which is exactly correct because i have only two functions imagine if i have any other function here like test or any other private text function print and private you still don't have access to that private function you can see i only have access to the module 1 function and the module 2 function here the benefit of using the wildcard import is you don't have to use this long extension usually what we do is like that from package sub package 1 the module 1 import module 1 function people prefer to use this one only because it is more readable if you want a shorthand best shorthand way you have you can use this one from package import wildcard but it will only work if the library author has defined the tender all variable otherwise it will import everything even though it will work it is not the best way i hope you understand what is tender all variable i hope you understand what is tender all variable in both in package and module level so please subscribe to more videos like this thank you for watching have a good day